Hello everybody, Max Cavalera here, so fly, and you're watching Loudwire. Um, I agree that is the the rawest and I think uh, most aggressive one, you know, because the, the first one inflicted and blunt force trauma they're pretty similar and they are more kind of trash and pandemonium adds a whole new dimension because i really wanted to capture the spirit of me and igor playing fast when we were kids how we started this thing and it was awesome when we play fast there was so much energy and i want to bring that energy from you know 1983 to now playing with Igor now and do a fast record with him and see, see if he was up to it. So I had the whole idea in my head for Pandemonium to be super fast. So I wrote all the songs to be fast. And I kept it pretty much, except for a couple songs, there's some groove parts that you can't escape it, you know, because we're Brazilian and end up going to the groove anyway. But, you know, most of it, 90% of the job was done. and. I'm very surprised with the final result. I think we, I got the goal that I wanted from the beginning. Even the recording is done in a certain way to sound dirty. It's a dirty record. It's an ugly record. It's not supposed to be polished. It's not supposed to be a pretty record. It's like kind of like the uh, the old school records, like Entombed and Carcass. You know that kind of ugly sound. You know. So all that was done on purpose. So I think we achieve our goal with this record. I think a lot of people are going to be trail. We could have done it, but Igor was in trail about 30 second songs. So that was, that idea got chopped off. You know, we couldn't do that. So we had to keep the songs, the, the same uh, structure from the other albums, which is like three minutes, you know, uh, three and a half minutes, you know, that's the average Mac song length. And uh, so, but I think the spirit of Grindcore is that, especially with Nate doing the bass, you know, coming from Converge and, and the way these distorted basses and the stuff I was listening to in the studio when I was making Pandemonium, I was showing Igor, uh, Stuff like uh, Full of Hell, Noisem, um, uh, Cold Orange Kids, all this really, you know, cool Pig Destroyer, you know, All Pigs Must Die, all this great grindcore stuff that's done today. And uh, so we, I think we captured the spirit of what's in grindcore, the energy of what's in grindcore, but with a little longer songs. I think when they, we use groove really in a, a cool way, I think, on this record. Cause when it comes, it's in a special part and really um, makes the song better. Um, perfect example is um, in a song called I Barbarian, there's there's a part that sound, it was a groove part that sound like Slayer, and but Igor put a punk beat on top of it. So it was so cool to have a kind of like a Slayer riff, but Igor put like a black flag drum beat on top of it which was unexpected and uh, and that was really cool so i think we kind of use moments like that i think what what we did we, we kept the original idea of the fast so most of the record is fast you know but it there is some groove stuff and actually there is some songs most of the songs is entirely kind of groove like um not losing my edge it's almost like it's like a Mishuga kind of riff and it's almost like the whole song is is a groove except for the middle part that's fast but I was really into having Igor playing fast you know I was yeah. really going for it you know you gotta play fast man you know keep keep the D beat going you know I love when he does that and uh, actually during the recording he play so hard that the walls were shaking. It was done in a house, the guy's house, and all these 
like pictures were shaking from the wall, like his family pictures. And we got the, the, the doorbell ring and it was the cops, you know, like the neighbor couldn't sleep from the noise next door. So that was awesome, like having the cops visit the studio. I never had that in 30 years, you know. That never happened, man, you know. The cops never bust out in the studio like that. So it was like the guy was complaining about the noise and we're, we told the cops, so oh, this is the last day. I just wish I had a iPhone to record the cops complaining and put that as an intro of the record. It would have been perfect. I just look for, you know, I had to look for different uh, ideas, you know, for lyrics. Because after 30 years, you really have to, you know, stretch your imagination to come up with, with different subjects, you know. And I thought that was a really cool subject, you know, the suicide kamikaze pilots, you know. I, I don't think another song has been done quite about that, not, not that I remember. And, uh, and I thought it would be really cool. And then in the very end we have a, a war siren that John the engineer added and that's so killer it's like chilling you know when that siren comes in in the end of the song it's perfect and um, yeah I think it was uh, you know just trying to have different topics the, the record is not con a concept record so I can talk about anything I want on the record you know so which it's really kind of open, uh, some of the songs are about, uh, The Crucible is about the Witches of Salem, Banzai Kamikaze is about suicide pilots, uh, you got stuff like um, Babylonian Pandemonium is about old Bible scriptures and scrolls from Babylon and old, you know, history kind of stuff. So just kind of having, you know, variety having different but all topics really fit the music I think you know they're, they're harsh topics like suicide pilots is very harsh you know imagery you have in your head of you know they're flying down with their planes and blowing up in the sky and that kind of imagery fits the music you know so it's perfect for aggressive music <laughs> 